What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Kaki Cartel. And today we're doing performance review of none other than Donovan Mitchell's first signature shoe, the Adidas Dawn Issue One. Let's get it. So before we get into the performance review, I would like to go through some design aspects of the shoe. As you know, this is Donovan Mitchell's first signature shoe. And in case you didn't know, this is also an official Marvel collab. So every single colorway of the Dawn issue one will be associated with a Spider-Man uh, character or a Spider-Man suit colorway. I'm really excited to see what other colorways they come up with. So as you can see, this is the OG spider suit colorway with hits of blue, red. You've got the Spider-Man logo here. And something I find really cool is that you have webbings right here. So a web-like pattern on the tongue. And overall, I think that this is a really good colorway. I know that there is a Venom colorway, a Iron Spider colorway, and a Future Spider colorway. So let me know in the comment section below what other colorways you'd like to see coming from the Dawn Issue 1. So that takes care of the design aspects. In my opinion, it's a really sleek looking shoe. You could probably run these casually if you wanted to, but on to the performance review, guys. Starting off, as always, with the traction. The Dawn Issue 1 features traditional herringbone light pattern. Now I've heard some mixed reviews about the traction pattern and its inconsistency, but in my opinion, the traction in these really, really work. On dusty cords, on mildly dusty cords, on clean cords, you don't even need to wipe at all. The groves are thick, it's relatively spaced out. Dust does get trapped quite easily, but that does not affect the traction performance at all. And if you really wanted to, a quick wipe, the traction is A1. It just squeaks, it's really good, it bites the floor, and it'll give you maximum coverage, whether you're a shifty guard or a bigger player like me, traction is really good on these shoes. Moving on to the cushion, the Adidas Dawn 1 features full-length bounce, but it's not unlike any other iterations of bounce I've tried before. If you have tried bounce on previous Adidas basketball shoes, you know what I'm talking about. These feel really nice. It's plush, it's responsive, it's springy. The closest comparison I could have these two is probably the Dame 5, but the Dame 5 cushion is slightly softer, it's more bouncier. These are a, sort of a good mix between being not too bouncy as well as not too firm. In my opinion, cushion these are really good as well. It gives you the right amount of court feel and responsiveness while also maintaining really good impact protection. Definitely appreciate the uh, cushion setup on this shoe. Now moving on to the materials, there's nothing fancy here, which I'm actually glad that you know Adidas didn't want to add any fancy materials or try to try to make this shoe into something that you know could potentially be a fail. All you have on the Dawn Issue 1 in terms of materials is textile and mesh, which makes it comfortable, flexible, and conforms to your foot. There's very, very minimal breaking time, something I appreciate because I rotate my shoes so often that any uh, material that takes longer than two or three cranes to break in, it just hurts my foot. Some might say that the materials are not premium enough, but I'm not complaining. I think the, it's a perfect blend of textile and mesh all the way throughout the shoe, and it just, it just works, which is something I really, really appreciate. It will conform to your foot and definitely a comfortable material to have on a performance basketball shoe. Moving on to the support and lockdown. I feel that the Dawn Issue 1 really caters to all sorts of foot types. Um, it has a really wide base as you can see here, so it's really good for wide footers, which also adds to the support because of the wide base. You won't feel like you're sort of tilting. You can see here on the outriggers as well, it gives you really good coverage when you move front and back, as well as moving left to right. So supporting these are really, really good in my opinion. Another thing that I really, really appreciate is that you can see inside here, the Dawn Issue 1 features a padded heel and ankle collar, which adds more comfort, as well as providing a nice, stable sort of ride for your ankles. If you have loose ankles and you love playing in low tops, what an oxymoron, but hey, if you like playing low tops, you shouldn't have to worry about these. These will get you locked in, supported really well. Another thing that I really appreciate about the Dawn Issue 1 is the traditional lacing system. You know, a lot of companies these days try to um, be more fancy in terms of their lacing system. This is a no frills. You have your lace loops here all the way, tie them all the way to the top, tie them up, and you're good to go. Really keep your foot locked in on this. Finally, moving on to the fit. For me personally, the Dawn Issue 1s fit true to size. I'm usually a 10 and a half. 
and I went 10 and a half in these. But bear in mind, I'm also slightly white footed, so I do appreciate the extra length as well as the width of the shoe. If you have narrow feet, uh, you could go a half size down, but as always, I do recommend that you try this on in store before you make a purchase. If you don't get the chance to, however, I do recommend you go through the size. You can always lace these up all the way to the top and you'll be good to go. The Adidas Dawn Issue 1 is a great performer on court. It's definitely a fun shoe to play in, whether you're a guard or a bigger guy like myself. I did really enjoy playing in these and I'm sure they'll be in the rotation um, when I play my games or when I do pickups. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think of Donovan Mitchell's first single shoe, the Adidas Dawn 1. Have you tried on a pair? Do you want to play in a pair or are you waiting for a, a better colorway? Let me know in the comment section down below guys. As always, don't forget to subscribe down the huddle below for more performance reviews, as well as follow me on Instagram at BTKicks where I do previews of shoes, be it, you know, basketball shoes, streetwear, all that stuff. See you next time, guys. We out.